Hi, welcome to today's episode of the KYMC YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about ink and environmental friendliness. You know, the market trend right now is going towards a more environmental friendly. Okay? And brands are also being aware of that. So brands are um, requesting their, their, their vendors to uh, be more environmental friendly when it comes to uh, production. So in when relating to the packaging industry, brands are requiring their packaging vendors to uh, be more environmentally friendly when it comes to the ink that they use in production. On the market, uh, uh, some of the more environmental friendly ink that comes to mind includes ink like uh, vegetable ink, a soil ink, uh, or a water-based ink. Uh, the term vegetable soy and water-based uh, ink may be uh, misguiding uh, some of the times. It may make it seem like you can just uh, you know, pour the ink down the drain and it wouldn't cause any environmental hazard. But uh, that's not the case because it is very hard to achieve 100% uh, uh, environmental friendly. Okay. And today we're going to into looking into the topic of you know, how an ink uh, can be environmental friendly or not. And to do that, uh, we're going to first look into um, the component of uh, an ink. When it comes to the component of the ink, we look into three different parts, uh, colorant, vehicle, and additives. Okay, so uh, colorant, what is colorant? Colorant is what gives the ink color. So when we uh, talk about, you know, cyan, magenta, yellow, you know, colorant are the materials that gives the ink color. And colorant usually makes up only about 20% of the ink uh, by volume. And uh, so what kind of colorant is there? Uh, mainly, there is two different types of colorant, a pigment or dyes. In commercial printing, uh, usually a pigment is used. The difference between a colorant and a dye is that a, a dye is a soluble in a liquid and a pigment is not. So drawing an analogy of, of salt, okay? So um, the dye is like a salt that dissolves in water and a pigment is like mud. It's like mud that gets mixed up in water, but it doesn't actually dissolve in water. So that's the difference. So what is colorant made up of? Uh, it is actually usually not made up of uh, environmental friendly components. Components. So for example, a carbon black. Okay, uh, carbon black is usually made up from a chemical compounds such as cobalt, uh, titanium, uh, and cadmium zinc. These are not environmental friendly uh, components. So usually colorant are uh, not very environmental friendly. Okay, second, let's look at the second component of the ink, which is a vehicle. Vehicle makes up the majority of the ink accounts for, you know, around 60% uh, of the ink. And this is where ink can be environmental friendly, uh, uh, considering uh, what type of vehicle is chosen. Uh, for the ink. So uh, different vehicles such as uh, vegetable, soya, or water. These are the more uh, environmental friendly uh, choices. And uh, there are also less uh, environmentally friendly choices like uh, solvents. These traditional solvents, they create uh, VOCs uh, during production, which makes it uh, less um, environmental friendly. And it also makes it more uh, hazardous at the same time. Okay, so vehicle. Vehicle is the part that uh, can make, uh, depending on what you choose, can make the ink uh, more eco-friendly or not. Okay, the third component is additives. Additives are materials that help to uh, provide or enhance um, the characteristic of the ink. So for instance, to support the flow of the lubrication of the ink, uh, to support the dyeing process, you know, to deform the bubbles that are, uh, that are formed during the printing process. And additives are usually not that environmental friendly as well. Okay, that's the three components of, of, of the ink. When we talk about environmentally friendliness of ink, it's usually about three different factors. 
One is cost, performance, and of course, eco-friendliness. It's a balance of the three. So usually when you have uh, eco-friendly ink, you know, it may cost higher and it does not perform that well. And vice versa, when you have a non-eco-friendly uh, ink, it may be, be less in price and it may have a higher performance. Uh, it's, so it's always a balance between the three. Okay, and that's it for today's YouTube video.